previously on Beauty and the Geek Australia, King Geek Corin threw a spa party. And look who turned up. Corin's really, really come out of his shell. Maybe a little bit too much. Corin is practicing his floating skills and he will practice them on any beauty that will allow him to float with him. <laughs> I think they all fell asleep talking and then they all just got comfortable and fell asleep. What else do you want to know? We were sleeping there. Emma said her goodbyes after being nominated for the elimination quiz. It's not the end for Karen and Emma. It's correct. <gasps> but she and Jeremy survived, yeah. sending Toby and Jenna home. Tonight, the race is on as four couples try to make it through to the final week. Can I have some help? It's $100,000, and that's a pretty big carrot. Someone will be sent home. And so it's a doggy dog world. But no one wants to go. I am so close to winning this whole thing. I really hope Emma comes back today from elimination. I love hanging out with her and I want her to be here right to the end. I was really nervous because I knew that whoever came back would potentially, you know, have a bigger reason to vote us off next week. I just couldn't predict this one. Like, it was such a hard decision. I'll be happy either way. I'll seriously yeah, same. Yeah, Toby is great. Yeah. Toby's good. Hello! <laughs> I could tell that Michelle was really, really happy to see Jeremy and I back. I felt like she did feel a little bit guilty. The fact that I nominated Emma and Jeremy, I don't think that will ruin our friendship. When this is all over, Corinne and I are going to remain friends. I'm sure we'll be great friends afterwards, but where is it going to go? I've done long distance relationships before and I don't think that it really works. Where would it lead? We leave the house, I go back to Melbourne. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? The beauties all wanted to come out and use this phone. Making our way down there, we saw all the boys in there. Hello, ladies. That's it's very hot. Yes. <laughs> That's very hot. It's like being final four, it's pretty empty. This house is like not loud. And we're like, where is everyone? Hello, 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 hello. We all get along so well. And you know, I just, I don't want to see this fall apart anytime soon. Hold on. Ding, 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 ding. Xenogen is madly in love with Emma. Xenogen thinks it's a little crush. I think he's just madly in love with her. What are you wearing? <laughs> I like Star Trek. <laughs> you wear a dag. What's wrong with being nothing, a dag? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing is cute. I um, did notice Xenogen recently asking me a lot. Are you okay? Emma, are you okay? And I was thinking, why is he asking me if I'm okay so much? I tried being subtle about signalling. Clearly my signalling strategy was totally unobserved and unnoticed. He did take me aside um, a few days ago and told me that he was subtly trying to, to give me hints. We've got, you know, the rest of our lives to uh, catch up. I certainly feel a lot of chemistry for Emma. I feel a lot of shared experiences with her and this could certainly uh, lead to love in the long run. I thank Xenogen for being honest and open. I told him that it was really, really good and a positive sign that he could voice his emotions. But in the politest way possible, I did tell him that, unfortunately, I don't have the same feelings. It's the start of a new week. We've come down to the challenge announcement room. And what we find is a toolbox with pink tools in it and a dumbbell. It's the toolbox one. I've really wanted a toolbox pink one. Tools. Well, I'm really hoping that we're making a kitchen sink or a dog kennel or something out of wood. We saw the dumbbells and I think all of us realised it's going to be something to do with fitness. It'll have to be personal training. I think this is, this is a, a, two challenges. They couldn't combine them anyway. There's two, they're just too rare. Unless we're building a gym. Huh? <laughs> we're building a gym. Good morning, everyone. Hey, Danny. Well. 
Just four couples remain in the Beauty and the Geek mansion. Who thought they'd make it this far? Not me. <laughs> There's a lot at stake now because the 100 grand is within reach. The only way of guaranteeing yourselves a shot at the $100,000 prize money is by winning your challenges. Because next week is the final week. I'm so excited. Next week is going to be the last week ever and potentially I could be a winner. Geeks, you're forever giving those brains a workout, but have those bodies ever been exercised? No! Make sure you get some tips from your beauties because this week you're studying up on health and fitness. My heart sort of sunk because I'm no fitness person. I don't really know much about fitness. I personally have no inhibition. I could probably handle walking about naked, but Lycra, I've never actually worn it terribly much. And beauties, you're familiar with designer labels, but what about the science of design? This week, you'll be learning all about engineering in what will quite literally be a race to the finish line. What's engineering? Is that like... Engineering is building stuff. Dictionary. <laughs> like engineering like cars. I only know if a car looks good and if it has a good sound system pretty much. Grab your prep materials and strap yourselves in because this week promises to be a wild ride. Two winners and the people who don't win are going to go into elimination so it's a dog eat dog world. Why are we helping each other study? <laughs> I don't know. We like each other, we're friends. Really so being the other geeks, trying really hard to study. And Michelle stampedes into the room like a raging elephant. What is this? This is a house full of lazy people! Get up! Get up! I decided to do a boot camp. Mishy's boot camp. Five minutes! Change! Change! Gym clothes! Now! Not lazy I was quite scared because I could see the anger in her eyes. And at one point she even had a bit of a standoff with Xenogen. Ask me politely. Now! Ask me politely. Now! Ask me politely. Now! Ask me politely. Now! Me politely. Senator's not used to a woman telling him what to do. And maybe it's a good thing for him to experience it. I was a little bit unsure as to what was going on. It was early in the morning and I just had breakfast and I felt like I can't do this because it's going to come back up. Come on, Karen! This body is just not made for sport. It was made for science. I do marathon running, so I was fine. This was like really slow running for me and I was actually a bit bored. All the other geeks were huffing and puffing and it's like, yeah, I can win this challenge. I know I'm good at sport and triathlons and stuff, and so I've been wanting this one for ages, and we finally got it. And now I feel the pressure. <laughs> well, I'm going to let you guess and say how you think it works. Okay. It's called a, a gym stick. I got really uh, annoyed at Karen today. Yeah. Well, I don't it's think that he's going to embrace this challenge and take it seriously. Oh, God. Watch out! Just like that. Off your own. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a sporty guy. It's like something of Space Invaders. Pretty much said, in my own words, get your head on. Corin, get serious! You're making this out to be a joke when it's not! This challenge may depend on us going home or staying for the final week. Hello. We're standing in this room and there's gym balls around and like boxing equipment and skipping ropes. I wasn't feeling too confident knowing that Xenogene's challenge this week would be a fitness challenge. I don't think he's ever even had a fitness class before. Hi guys. Hi. 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 I hope you've been exercising those mental muscles because you're about to build the ultimate fitness routine. Oh. I do like to dance a lot, so I'm hoping that my cardiovascular fitness level will be all right. Now, each of you will instruct a class across a variety of disciplines. And you better make them sweat, because the class will be judging you on your routine and ultimately deciding the winner. So, geeks, slip into your leotards, because it's time to get physical. I knew for uh, the geek challenge that I would definitely have to go in there and make sure I kept my class's enthusiasm to exercise right up there. It's cardio time! So let's get pumped! Pump it up, everybody! I'm your host, Joey Today, I was like, whoa, who is this guy? If you want to know the time, it's cardio time. We're going to start off with some basic stretches here. Now we'll stretch the wrist. <laughs> stretch the wrist right around as far as you can. And then back the other way. That's it was really different for Xenogen, actually. Not his usual. 
Now push forward and back. I definitely wanted to have a very Arnie type voice. Yes. Tell me, can you feel it? Yes. Good. I view Arnie as like the ultimate in the exercise type man. Hey ladies. How are you going? Karen came out in the most atrocious looking gym outfit I've ever seen in my life. Oh, by the way, my name's Corin. Uh, you can call me Dr. Burn. And I've got a saying, let's cut the chat, let's burn some fat. I thought that was really catchy and really good. Now today, we're gonna try and burn lots of calories. And if you ain't sweating it, you ain't getting it, all right, people? So I was doing all the basic work, and then without thinking, I all of a sudden decided to jump into the most complicated move that I had in my repertoire. Up, spin. Brazilian maracas. Up, spin, down. Brazilian maracas. Because Jeremy wasn't really instructing the class on which way to go first, everyone was kind of just going all different ways and the guy next to me kind of banged into me and I banged into them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah! Peter's in the house. For some reason, whenever I don't know what to think of, I just think about animals. And you're a bird, flapping. <laughs> Imagine your fitness is coming towards you as your weight is flapping away. <laughs> he just comes up with different unusual methods. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them I don't find appropriate, but at the same time, I felt ridiculous. Wiggle your feet from side to side. Now you're a fish. Go for that trout. Oh, yummy trout. The class got a very good workout on the abdominal section from laughing too much. Five, six, seven, seven. In the routine, Corin was doing everything from the grapevine. That's it. To the Superman. Oh God, I'm dying. He started panting like a puppy dog. Keep the energy up, even though I'm tired. You're not, come on. Let's cut that chat, burn some fat. I was absolutely exhausted. Let's cut that chat, burn some fat. Oh. 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 Keep going, keep going. Come on. No good gym instructor would say that, Corin. Make sure your heart is pumping, because what time is it? That's right, I've trained you well, haven't I? What time is it? It's cardio time. The whole idea is to work out. <laughs> Sorry about that. The That's one great advantage of having pretty much no inhibition is you don't get nervous about making a fool of yourself in front of a live audience. And whoa! <laughs> a little more practice on the balance, maybe. <laughs> Zenigen did a lot better than what I thought he would. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I was quite impressed, and I thought maybe we would be in a chance of winning this. By the time of the announcement, I was just thankful that I was still alive. Well, congratulations, guys. You all put everything into it. Your class has voted, and the scores are in. I thought I had an excellent chance of winning because I'm probably the most athletic out of all the geeks. And the winner is... Basically, if we don't win a challenge this week, we are going to be in the elimination room. And that's not a place we want to be. And the winner is... Basically, if we don't win a challenge this week, we are going to be in the elimination room. And that's not a place we want to be. Corinth. Oh I was like, yay! And I got so excited because, you know, now we're in the final week for sure. <laughs> it's disappointed that Jeremy didn't win because I know that fitness is such an important part of his life. Well, Corin, congratulations. You and your partner, Lisa, are safe from elimination and are the first couple through to the final round. <laughs> Very jealous, of course I wanted to win it. But no, it was good on him. So, beauties, tomorrow we head trackside for your engineering challenge, where you'll have the opportunity to seal your position in the final week. I'll see you all there. The brutal truth is that if Michelle doesn't win tomorrow, then we're going into elimination. Surprise. What's in it? The tools that were in the toolbox, there was a wrench. Wrench. Wrench? Can you get me a Phillips head? No. Phillips head. 
If you don't know what tools you're using, how on earth are you going to be able to construct anything out of them? Tweezer things. <laughs> no, these. Oh, hang on, wait. Spanner. This is not a wrench. This is. That is a wrench. Is it? I want an adjustable spanner. If it has to do with building something, I'm going to win. I hope I'm going to win. Do you know what um, imperial is and what metric means? I know there's imperial soap. <laughs> To the challenge today, we're all really excited about what we were possibly doing. Welcome, ladies, to the Beauty and the Geek Grand Prix. Woo! We've seen these little individual pieces for each of us girls, and I'm thinking, oh my god, we're gonna have to build it from scratch. Wait, what are we building? Now, beauties, it's time to put your engineering skills to the test as you assemble this billy cart. I'm not a builder and I never want to build anything in my life, unless it's a sandwich. I don't even know the first thing about billy carts. I was actually feeling quite confident because I'd done woodwork and metalwork at school. It's probably the only thing in the whole world I'm good at. The first beauty to successfully build their billy cart will get pole position on the starting grid. Then we enter phase two of this challenge. I'm thinking, what is going on? Your carts will be raced by a rather select group. Oh, it's going to be like a famous race car driver. Ladies, please welcome your drivers. <laughs> There's Jeremy. We see that they're wearing outfits like Evil Knievel. Peter looked like Elvis. The way he strutted up that hill. Elvis in an Evil Knievel. Xenogen was sort of tagging along at the end, a little shorty. You guys look awesome! Woo! Yeah! Go, Peter. Hey, guys, looking good. Hey. Thank you, Bennett. The rules are simple. The first geek to cross the finish line wins the challenge for their team and a place in the final week. Woo! Woo. <laughs> if we could win this challenge, we'd be through to the finals and have a chance to win $50,000. $100,000 for the team. Come on, let's go, Lisa, come on. Corin wants me to win and I want me to win because this could be our chance to put, you know, the two strongest couples that are left in the house head to head and, you know, send one home. So, gentlemen, if you could take a step back. Good luck, Michelle. Uh, you can do it, Hadassah. Good luck, Michelle. Ladies, your time starts now. Come on, come on, Michelle. let's go, Lisa. Michelle got off to a brilliant start. You know, she was very focused. It was like she was doing surgery or something. Should I put the seat together first? Should I put the wheels on first? All these things are running through my head. I had a lot of faith and confidence that Hadassah would be really, really good at doing this challenge. It did look like it would be a tough call as to who would actually win. Jeremy, do we look hot while we're doing this? I can't tell you anything. Emma started with the wheels and she got those on really quickly. I thought she had a bit of a lead over some of the other beauties. And Lisa, she was trying to build something else. She wasn't building a box car. I don't know what she was doing. She was like, Wee. OK, I'm going to try something else. She'd picked up a lot of parts, sort of tried to put them together and then left it. <laughs> the idea of me driving a vehicle that Lisa has constructed for me, to be honest, it scares the bejesus out of me. The idea of me driving a vehicle that Lisa has constructed for me, to be honest, it scares the bejesus out of me. I'm not looking forward to it. Can I have some help? It was a little bit hard with the screws, because we had to do it all by hand. There we well go. Well done. All I could hear was him screaming, scream, scream. Well done. Yay, it's going in. I attempted to put the seat together. I was really excited because my screws were actually going in and it was staying together. Just be proud of what I've done. Doing really well, Michelle. Michelle is, like, really going for it. And I'm thinking, wow, how should you do that so quickly? It was really frustrating. I couldn't set, tell her anything. I couldn't give her any advice of what's whatsoever. And I'm looking at the model and I'm looking at mine like, 
What is wrong with this? She still hasn't realized that the front chassis is upside down. Wait. <gasps> I did it wrong. Come on, Michelle, you can do it. Oh, my God, it's the wrong way around. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I might lose this, I might lose this. As soon as Michelle realised that the front chassis was on the wrong way around, finally I had this relief. Finished! Yes! For us to come first means that we get a head start. We get to be in front of everyone, which is awesome, you know. Hello, victory. An entire wheel. Putting the wheels on, Emma was cranking it as hard as she could. I'm thinking, these wheels aren't going to spin at all. You focus, Emma. I am, I'm just tightening. Shut up. It didn't need to be safe, it just needed to be constructed. Time! I finished building my billy cart second, which meant Jeremy was going to be in second position during the race. I'm done. Oh, well done! I was taking so long. Corrin ended up just, you know, sitting down and chilling out. I was just getting a bit tired of, of watching her struggling so much. Sort of like watching an animal caught in a trap. It's trying to get away and you, you want to help her, but you can't. last meant that Corin was to take fourth position on the grid. Who knows, he might overtake all the other geeks and finish first. The hill was actually reasonably high up. I'd guesstimate doing a rough numerical calculation. If we don't have any energy losses, we could potentially get up to seven kilometres an hour, which makes me a little bit nervous. We're at the bottom of the race, the finish line. The boys are at the top. I was quite nervous. You're really at the mercy of the mechanics at the end of the day. I thought to myself, you know, I can't let Michelle down. I can't let myself down. I could win this competition. I want to do my best for Hadassah and for the team because if we do win, we'll be safe from having to face elimination this week. I really didn't want to go to the elimination room, so I definitely need to win. Gentlemen, on your marks. Get set. It took a while for them to start off. It sort of looked like they were pushing themselves down. I knew I had reasonably strong arms and I had plenty of experience with billy cuts in my youth to know how to actually dig into the dirt and pull along. They start coming down the hill and the very first thing I see is Jeremy goes sideways. My car would not turn. I was still about one metre from the start line so I thought the race is over already. Peter's coming down. And out of nowhere, Xenogen just comes pelting down the hill. He's like going full ball. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're going to win this. This is it. We're going to go to elimination. I'm going to be sent home. I've lost my chance to win the money. I was utterly determined. My focus and my entire being was on that billy cart winning. I just remember seeing the billy cart fall apart on me due to the immense torque it was experiencing. Come on, get on, get on, get on! He still had time. He was that far ahead that he still had time to jump back on it and win it. The wheels just gave way and fell off. Peter just narrowly avoids him. I didn't really think much about poor Xenogen's well-being. And then Jeremy's coming down really fast, just behind Corin. I was catching up Peter and I was thinking, I can do this. Then all of a sudden... <laughs> that was up there. That was Formula One style into a wall crash. In a split second, I had to duck out of his way. So lucky I had the steering at this point. So I kind of swerved off to the left. I swerved back to the right and I got ahead of Corin. So now I was in second place. We only had about 20 metres to go. So I'm going along as fast as I can. And I was making up a lot of ground on him. 
I only had about 20 metres to go. So I'm going on as fast as I can. And I was making up a lot of ground on him. Go, Peter, go! He's holding the boat between his teeth and he's pushing his way along. Peter, what are you doing? But keep doing it because you're not going to win. Out of nowhere, Michelle and me are blazing ahead in this competition, and I think we're doing really, really well, and now we're through to the final, and I feel like a hero. We just had 20 more metres, Jeremy really would have nailed that. I really, really needed to win this one. I was just like, oh. Woohoo! I knew that that crash had clearly cost me the win, but Pete deserves a win. I was really, you know, proud that my billy cart made it through the finish line, pretty much. So I was just happy. Well, guys, what a finish. Peter, Michelle, congratulations. I am so close to winning, potentially winning this whole thing. You guys are through to the final week where you'll have a shot at the $100,000 prize. Yeah. Unfortunately, Emma, Jeremy, Hadassah and Zenogen you guys are headed to the elimination room, where you'll fight it out for a place in the final week. I'll see you guys at the elimination. We're so proud of ourselves for getting so far and doing so well as a team. But we're disappointed that we have to go to the elimination room. Mushroom risotto and chocolate mousse. OK. Michelle and I thought it'd be good to cook a final dinner for everyone. Just sort of let them know that it's been really good to get to know them. I think it's like rice, rice. Like, I don't know, my roommate makes it, but I never pay attention. I don't even know what risotto is. Disaster in kitchen, disaster in kitchen. Ooh, something's burning. <laughs> Your rice is burning. I've never really cooked before in my life. My idea of cooking is putting crumbed fish in the oven. What is that burning smell? This looks terrible. This has just gone horribly what, wrong. See my floor? As Michelle and I were in the kitchen cooking, Corin came in. Hey, look. Be serious, but what oh. does it taste like? I told her. It tastes like cardboard. Have you put any flavouring in there I at all? I put basil and salt and That's pepper. Disgusting. Well, Ugh. if you went to a restaurant and someone goes, there's your dinner, like that. If it tastes good, I don't care. Can we order pizza tonight? <laughs> when you are sitting there at the table and you know, it's your last meal together. It is sad. Okay, Peter, because you love mushrooms, do you have extra. <sighs> I think that was a bit of a gag reflex. Take like a big whiff. It actually smells like um, a yeah. It's really peppery. Yeah. You do well, Mitch. This is actually quite nice. Actually. It was not as good as the risotto I would make at home, but for a first attempt, not even knowing what risotto was beforehand, it was a very good job. So I didn't enjoy the meal because it was terrible. I really like the garnishing though. But it's good to have all of us together as a big family. Hey. Hi. We're all getting ready to go down, so we wanted to come say goodbye. It was really tough to say goodbye to everyone because they're really nice people. You know, they're amazing people and I really like them all. Jeremy. Yeah. See you later. You'll definitely see you later, dude. Yeah. It's been fun. It has been fun. He is a very special friend of mine and we are extremely close. I can definitely see us catching up on the outside. Karen's the sort of guy that I can imagine phoning up at two in the morning and he's just such a good listener and he offers some really, really good advice and that's really nice. It's really hard to find people in this world that you can have that sort of connection and that bond with. As a guy, I really think you just have to be crazy if you didn't have some kind of attraction or feeling towards her. You guys take care. Do well. Good, Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Love you all. all okay. Love you more. I love you. I'm going to miss him. It's just really hard because we've all come, you know, become yeah. so close and we, you know, have to split up now. It's, it's quite sad to see people leave the house. Great hug. Yeah, great party. Thank you, guys. Mm. Love you. Yay! <laughs> I have very mixed emotions going up against Hadassah and Xenogen. Everyone underestimates how smart Hadassah actually is.
Hadassah and Xenogen, Emma and Jeremy. Here we are, in the elimination room. You will each be asked a series of questions. The team with the most correct answers wins and is through to the final week. The losing team will be out of the competition and be asked to leave the mansion immediately. Geeks, you're up first. Beauties, you can watch your partners from the viewing room. Good luck, Sam. You too, Jamie. Geeks, you will each receive two questions selected from your prep materials. Xenogen, please choose a number. Might as well be systematic and start with one. The glute lift, the V-step and the straddle down are moves associated with what type of physical exercise? Aerobics. Or step aerobics, if you want to be more specific. Oh, it turns out. Oh, I don't know. Step aerobics is correct. You're lucky, because aerobics on its own would have been incorrect. Oh my gosh. Ooh, he's lucky he picked that out. Oh my gosh. Now, Jeremy, your turn. Please choose a number. Well, why not number two? Which 1977 documentary about bodybuilding starred Arnold Schwarzenegger? Which 1977 documentary about bodybuilding starred Arnold Schwarzenegger? Does he know this one? Pumping Iron. Pumping Iron. Is correct. Well done. So, you're each on one point. Senegin, your next number, please. Might as well make it three. <laughs> Who won an Oscar for his original screenplay for the film Chariots of Fire? Oh, okay. Uh, 1981, um, the movie, the movie. Um, I'd be guesstimating can't think of anything else, so... Charles Fionnelli. <laughs> that answer is incorrect. I thought so. The correct answer is Colin Welland. Okay. I had no idea. That's right, I had no idea. <laughs> Jeremy, in which year were the Queensbury rules drafted for the sport of boxing? Looks like Xenogen knows that he one. He knew that one. I think there are a couple of dates associated with that one, but is it 1867? Yes. 1867 is correct. You are shouldn't have stuck with Odd. <laughs> well done. Ladies, if you'd like to join us in the elimination room. You did just a good Sorry, job. Thank you. Oh, oh, I don't deserve you. Oh, I remember so much, but got that one. So, Hadassah, Xenogen scored one point which carries across to your score. And Emma, Jeremy answered both questions correctly, which means you will start on two. Gentlemen, if you'd like to retire to the viewing room. Just do this. Ladies, you will each receive two questions selected from your prep materials. Hadassah, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Four, please. Which animal was tamed and used for transport from around 2000 BC? I, I, I'd guess I made a horse. Yeah. I haven't read her notes enough. A camel? The camel is incorrect. The correct answer is the horse. Emma, if you get your first question right, you'll win the elimination and be through to the final week. Please choose a number. I'll take number three, please. In what year was the first flight of the Boeing 747, the first commercial wide-body airliner? Oh, no. 
remember looking at that and thinking I probably didn't need to know it. I'm just going to go with 1803. Oh! 1803 is incorrect. The correct answer is 1969. It was way off. <laughs> That's the one I learned. <laughs> so, Hadassa, you're still in this game. Please choose a number. Number one, please. So she has to get this right one. She has to get it right. Because it's 2 1 still. Carl Benz of Mercedes Benz fame was from which country? Does she know it? I don't know. She, she started predominantly by herself. England. England is incorrect. The correct answer is Germany. I thought it was England. <laughs> Gentlemen, could you please join us in the elimination room? <laughs> Emma and Jeremy, once again, you won the elimination and are through to the final week. Congratulations. Unfortunately, Hadassah and Xenogen, you've lost the elimination. You must leave the mansion and the competition immediately. It's been absolutely fun being here. Hadassah, have you enjoyed your time in the mansion? Yeah, every moment. It's been quite a, quite a ride, actually. <sighs> Big roller coaster. It's been a real pleasure having you guys on Beauty and the Geek. Thank you. One more kiss goodbye. Okay. <laughs> bye bye guys. Come on, Zanijan. I'm a come. <laughs> See ya. <sighs> Emma and Jeremy, congratulations. You're through to the final week and you've got a real shot at the one hundred thousand dollar prize. How are you feeling? We were certain it was our last day, like, we just had a feeling and I think we just got lucky with the questions because I didn't know number three either. And you can head upstairs and join the others. Thanks. Thank you. Do you? Hello. I would like to be your partner. In my eyes, I did actually choose the most difficult geek in the house. But we both gave it our all and we learned a lot of things from each other and I'm really proud of him. I feel I've achieved a lot. I think I've fulfilled all my primary objectives. The experience has resulted in getting seven really good geek friends and I've been pleasantly surprised to find that pretty much all the beauties are actually quite intelligent. <laughs> it's really sad to be leaving the mansion now. I've gained a lot of knowledge than just a beauty. I believe I do have a big heart and I do have a lot to give and I'm sad to be leaving all my friends here because I've made some really special friendships. <laughs> it's been very hard to read Emma. I believe she just wants to be friends and if that's all she wants, I love her enough to respect that. Of course, that just means that I'm still available for all the lovely ladies on the outside. Hadassah, it's been a very, very interesting and enjoyable learning experience being with you, so. It's yeah. been wild. It's been wild. A wild ride. <laughs> Let's go, 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 go! Next week on the finale of Beauty and the Geek Australia. Go, go, go! Get out, get out! Three couples, one frantic challenge to find the winner. The heat was on. Run! A race against time and each other. Go away! It was neck and neck. As they try to track down some familiar faces. We've got to try and beat them. Who will win the $100,000 prize? Find out next week on the finale of Beauty and the Geek 